Big win for truth. Magistrate Court of Barrow County, State of Georgia, has given the victory to what is demonstrable and provable. This all started when Zen Garcia offered a challenge to anybody who could prove that the Earth had a curvature rate at its given diameter, or, or they could prove that Earth had some type of movement that was over 50 miles an hour. In the court of law, neither one could be proved. Which is very interesting because the judge had to decide this case based on the information provided by the litigants. And so we have to ask ourselves the question, since Flat Earth won, did the person backing the spinning ball Earth theory provide enough information for the judge to convince her to take their side? And the answer is no. We have to also ask ourselves if William Thomas was the right person to go into court to that day and be a spokesperson on behalf of the spherical earth. Because whatever happened in court, William Thompson did not impress the judge with the information he provided to collect his $15,000. So for me, this doesn't necessarily prove the shape of the earth. And this doesn't prove to me that William Thompson had his act together. Maybe he wasn't the best person to go into court that day. But what it does prove to me, and is very telling, and should prove to you, is the absence of all the university professors, the absence of a NASA spokesperson, the absence of a media spokesperson. Maybe CNN could have sent somebody from their science division and slam dunked this case for Globe Earth. All those people are missing. That is the telling thing about this case. Because the judge based her decision on who was more believable and who had the most evidence. And Zen Garcia slam dunked this. Earth has no curvature. Earth is not moving. So what is the issue here? Well, the issue is not really about the case. The issue is, is that if we really live on a spinning ball earth, it should have been easy to prove. A professor could have gone into court, wore his white lab coat, showed his degrees and said, look, just believe me, I'm a professor, I know. Because that's what they do in college. And the kids, going to college, spending their hard-earned cash, spending mom and dad's hard-earned cash, taking out loans they'll never repay. Buy into it. Buy into the lies and indoctrination. But you see here, folks, in court, that lab coat comes off, those degrees go away, and you have to actually do something that you don't have to do in college, and that is prove it. And that's why we don't see any university professors here collecting $15,000. And let me tell you, there are a bunch of professors out there that could have used this extra money, but they know they would lose this case and be humiliated. Because in the court of law, you need something called evidence. Very interesting on who did not show up to collect the money. And this is not about, we told you so. This is not about, we're right, you're wrong. All we're asking you to do is consider who you believe. Do you believe the news media? Do you believe NASA? Do you believe what they told you in school? Because if you believed on them that you live on a spinning ball earth, guess what? They're not here to prove it. They're not here to back it up for you because they can't. We're just asking you to humble yourself and look at the information we present to you. And we've done more than one test to prove that Earth has no curvature rate. Think about it. It's called faith-based indoctrinated religion. And what you think is science, what you think is logic, well, who did you hear it from? Do you trust that source? And I, for one, trust nothing coming out of the news media and none of the sciences our government propagates. And you too should also consider, have you proven it for yourself?
This is Mike. Please like and subscribe and share this video. And the earth remains flat.